Hello and thank you so much for tuning in. Welcome to an empty palette. So today I'm going to be uh, doing some reorganizing of some eyeshadows and I am going to be putting all of my Davina Cosmetics eyeshadows into this palette here which is a Give Me Glow XXL palette. They currently have these up on the website for $10. They are blemished but I feel like they just have some minor scratches on them and that's all. And for 10 bucks, you get something to store 96 eyeshadows. My thought is that they're going to be discontinuing these because they have other, um, like they've come up with new eyeshadow palettes. So I don't know how much longer these will be around, but they've been around for still quite some time. And basically every time I place an order with Give Me Glow, which I did recently, which is why I have this, I think this is like my fourth one now. Um, I pick one of these up because my single eyeshadow collection continues to grow. And I've come to a point where I like to store my single eyeshadows in these bigger palettes. I used to not be a fan of these because I was like, oh, like I would never reach for like one of these in the morning to do my makeup, which is true. But I actually now see my single eyeshadows a lot more as like a library of shades and I do a lot more custom palettes. So I like to have all of my shades from one brand together or as together as I can so I can just reach into those palettes, pull out shades and do my own little custom palettes. So now these have become pretty useful and I wanted to consolidate my uh, brands that I have a lot of shades from into these larger palettes because they are taking up space and uh, these larger palettes just take up less space. So that's what we're going to be doing. I'll go ahead and start off by showing the palettes that I have to get through today. I don't know if I'm actually going to have enough space to store all of my Divina shadows in here, but we'll see. I should be able to get most of them in here. So this is my first palette of Divina Shades. This is actually the first palette I ever purchased, or not the actual palette itself, but the eyeshadows. I bought 34 of these, and so this is a 35 pansy palette. So they all fit in here really nicely, and there was just like one open spot, which I think was like right here. So it's kind of like jumbled right now, as you can see, but there's still some semblance of a color order. The missing spots are because I, again, take apart my palettes, put them in custom palettes and things like that. Sometimes I get surprised, though, at the amount of shades that are missing from a palette because I'm like, I feel like I don't have that many custom palettes, you know, that are floating around. So I'm like, why are all of my shadows missing? So I guess we'll figure that out today. Next up, I have this palette, which is an actual Divina Cosmetics branded palette. If I'm not mistaken, I think these are by actually another brand called Glam Tech, and they make these sort of really cool 3D printed palettes. You can even do like your own custom palette, and I think that uh, companies can also reach out to them to do like their own branded palettes. So I think that's what Divina Cosmetics did. Um, I think this is actually an older design because I think, I don't know if they're still using this logo, but this is like, I think an older logo, or at least one that they don't use on a lot of their uh, updated packaging, but Either way, this is just a palette that I have, and these are some more Divina shades, as you can see. Now, these are, like, super jumbled, and basically, anytime I get single eyeshadows, I will take them out and kind of just put them into a palette, um, and then, like, as in the order that I am opening them. And then once I've opened everything, I will go in and arrange by color. But for this one, for some reason, I was just like, no, let's just leave it as it is. This is sort of, like, perfect chaos and I was seeing colors that I liked together that I never would have thought to pair together so that was actually pretty cool I liked that I uh, kind of had it that way um, definitely super chaotic and messy now though so we're gonna be disassembling this one as well next up I have this palette from Altair Beauty it's like a double-sided holographic palette uh, ignore these eight shades right here these are from strobe well formerly strobe now shroud cosmetics but everything else in here is divina so you've got some really nice greens in them some grungier tones some like dusty blues and purples and there were like more pinks and purples over here as well and then this side is mostly metallic shades so that's another palette that we've got to go through and then lastly I have a few random palettes with divina shades in them so for example this one here is one of my custom palettes that I put together. Any quick guesses as to what this was meant to dupe? If you are a palette fiend, then you may have noticed that this kind of resembles, well, at least I, I hope it resembles, uh, the Natasha Denona Biba palette because that's kind of what I was going for here. Um, and I actually used this palette for quite a few months. This is one of my longest standing like custom palettes. As you can see, I did already take a couple shades out here, but there are some Divina shades in here as well. You can probably tell this one with the uh, D pattern on it. That's kind of their... Um, their thing for their eyeshadows or how they press their eyeshadows and then this one as well the D's kind of rubbed off but you can kind of still see the lines going through but yeah there's a few Divina shades in here so I'm going to be taking some out of here I also have this fun little quad which was from my Urban Decay 
Naked Honey palette in 10 shades or less video. And this was a lot of fun to play with. I really, really love all of these shades individually, uh, but I'm gonna put them back in the palette. So this palette is actually what I like to use for uh, almost like a, just a creative free space for coming up with like custom palettes that I don't want to put in a palette yet or have already put in a palette and I've kind of taken them apart. So if you watched my uh, Dupe It Yourself video for the Lime Crime Venus Immortalis palette, that's this little section up here. There are a couple of Divina shades up here as well. This down here is supposed to be the Morphe 3503 palette. And I did actually do a video for this, but then I just never uploaded it. It was gonna be another um, in 10 shades or less video. And then this little color scheme here is from, um, I follow the Half Cousins podcast, which is a podcast comprised of Lacey from Spooky Lips and Fat Hips and Georgia Harris. And they came up with what they called the Spooky Peach Palette because their logo for the podcast is a peach skull. So uh, I think they used Lethal Cosmetics shades, like the little, you know, the Lethal Cosmetics build your own palette and they crafted together some peachy shades and then some, I guess, you know, like, you know, Halloween spooky types of shades. So that's kind of what was going on there. And then up there is just, uh, I think this was actually, I was coming up with something that was, um, I was coming up with a color scheme that I had been inspired by uh, from an album cover. So yeah, this is just kind of like my workspace, but uh, the Divina Shadows, I'm gonna go ahead and take them out of here and then put them again into the Give Me Glow palette that's underneath. So honestly, I haven't given much thought to how I'm gonna organize this. I really never do. I kind of just start going and things kind of form organically, I guess. This is not my first time putting together a larger palette, but it'll be interesting to see how this kind of comes together. I imagine that the majority of the rest of this video will be just um, either asmr -y sounds of pans going into the palette to sped up or uh, music, uh, which I don't know. I don't know which one I'm going to do yet, but for these types of videos in the future, you can let me know if you have a preference when you watch these kinds of videos. Like, do you prefer when people play music over? Do you prefer the ASMR type sounds? Do you want a combination of the two? If I did do music or if I do put music in this video, it'll be very like chill, laid back. So I guess we'll see what I decided doing in a bit.
Okay, so I'm nearing the end here and I've determined that I have 108 Divina eyeshadows and this palette actually holds 99 single shades. So that means I'll have an overflow of 9 shades, which is not bad. That's actually a lot less than I thought that I was going to have. The only shade I'm having now, as you can see, is I have a lot of purples that are left over. Pinks, purples, some are warm, some are cool. So I'm just not sure how I want to organize the remainder of the palette and then 
I mean, I would have a really nice purple themed overflow more than likely because as you can see, a lot of the colors here are purple tones. Okay, so this is my final palette for now. These are the nine shades that I ended up with over here. As you can see, I had some real trouble trying to figure out which shades I wanted to put down here. I kind of ended up doing two purpley rows, one that's a little bit more muted warm tones and one that's sort of like more vivid and darker, uh, cooler tones. But this is uh, basically what we've got. Uh, really happy with this. I think it looks extremely rainbowy and the Davina shades are really great. So I'm glad to have them all in one place in a really nice sort of rainbow library of sorts. And I even think that there's kind of a cute color story going on over here with these sort of like leftover shades. But that basically wraps up this video. Feel free to let me know if you'd like to see more content like this in the future because I definitely have other single eyeshadows that I need to consolidate down into smaller palettes. And feel free to give this video a thumbs up if you found it enjoyable and or informative and subscribe to like the content. But either way, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!